Good afternoon, it's Friday, August 30th, and we are here, in case you can't tell, <laughs> live outside for our first ever UK tailgate kickoff extravagant. We, we don't really have a name for it, but all we know is it's UK tomorrow and things are about to get kicked off. It is all about the blue and white on today's show, and a big thank you to Northside Family RV who hooked us up today with this RV. We're going to take you on a tour of it a little bit later, and of course, UK kicking off the season tomorrow. We are less than 24 hours away from that Kentucky. In Toledo. Right. So much fun. So many things happening between now and tomorrow. And we are out here just kind of bringing the atmosphere, I guess you would say, a day early, which and, is okay. And what a nice day. I mean, oh the sun is gosh. shining. We've got, they're playing cornhole behind us. Mm -hmm. We're going to have some food today, too. That's right. Yeah. Big thank you to Subway for kind of tailgating our pre kickoff tailgating party, if you will. So we're going to catch up with them just a little bit later. And we're going to talk with Terry Touchdown Wilson, the man. And he's also going to teach me how to throw a little bit of a spiral. So that, of course, is going to be fun on the show today. And, you know, there's a party going on right now at Kroger Field. We've got some video here. This is UK fans. They are getting set up. They've got the RV lot is full. They are setting up their tents. The tailgates are getting ready. Mm -hmm. So it's a big day, and we are almost there. It's almost That's game right. day. Absolutely. All right, well, while Kentucky season starts tomorrow, Eastern Kentucky started yesterday. All right, with the kickoff, it was last night at Roy Kidd Stadium against Valparaiso. What a start for the Colonels. Let me just tell you this. Daryl Mikelski Jr. with a 64-yard touchdown run. Corey Glass returned a fumble for a touchdown. And Alonzo Booth scored twice. And that was just in the first half. <laughs> this is such a blowout. Oh, it was my great. Oh, goodness. UKU with the big win. The final score, get this 53-7. to The Colonels will take on Louisville next Saturday night in Cardinal Stadium. What a game. Man. I know. And, and, you know, the UK fans will be watching that game next week, too. Oh, EKU versus Louisville. There are going to be a lot of Two extra EKU fans next absolutely. weekend. Absolutely. But to come out with such a, a blowout, I mean, you want that for your first game. You want the hype, yeah. but you also want that that stamina going forward, and I think that's going to help them out. So that good, was, good on the Colonels. Yeah. Western them. Kentucky University fans aren't really cheering today. They lost last night, but yeah. hopefully they can get back on track that's with right. their next turn game. Around. Okay, well, we've got something to show you here. This is a, a little bit of a mix-up, creating some confusion that we just wanted to share with you. This is apparently, oh, we don't have, okay, that's that's okay. Okay, we'll just uh, go on. Let's, let's move on then. Okay, okay, well, let's go on then to angry chicken fans, okay? You know, we've been talking about this Popeyes. This has to do with Popeyes, On and it? on and on and on. Okay, yeah. so they left Popeyes restaurants. A lot of them couldn't get the sandwiches that they wanted, and that's because the chain sold out. So apparently a man is so angry about it, he's filed a lawsuit. We should have seen this coming. He is from East Ridge, Tennessee. He accuses the restaurant of false advertising and deceptive business practices. He says he drove around to several locations looking for those sandwiches only to be told that there were no more available. And he claims he even responded to a Craigslist ad posted by someone who said they worked at Popeyes and were selling the sandwiches under the table for $24. What? Here's a hint, like probably Craigslist is not where you want to go to be getting your food, but that's another story. Or, yeah. So he said he paid the guy. And of course, guess what? He didn't get the sandwiches. <laughs> and so now he is suing for $5,000 and he has a court date set for October. And this is the moral of the story is don't try to get your food on Craigslist. <laughs> or your dates. And, and five You certainly don't want to get a date. And he's suing for $5,000. I mean, really, the sandwiches How were 24 bucks. How many sandwiches bucks. would that buy him? Do you I think? Don't know. I don't know. I have a feeling that this lawsuit's going to get thrown out. Tossed yeah. out. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, a price mistake at a Wisconsin gas station had customers flocking to the pumps. Get this. There were so <laughs> many people at the business after hours. Police were called to check things out. What they found, gas for 28 cents a That'd gallon. That'd be nice. Oh my gosh, if only. Turns out that a the, the, the good gas was all because of an accidental price slash. According to police, the clerk put in the wrong price before they closed for the night. And uh, word spread fast. By the time police got there a couple of hours later, at least 100 <laughs> people <laughs> took advantage of the cheap gas. The gas Get it station, while you can. I know, you got to do it. The gas station lost out on about $3,500 from all those people. I know. According to the Department of Energy, gas hasn't been 28 cents since the 1950s. Yeah, it's, it's, it, that's, that's well before our time. Right? Yeah. But you <laughs> oh know what? God. One good thing about this, it's a holiday weekend. Usually, you know, you're going and if you need to fill up your yeah. car, you're like, oh man, they raised the price. And, and Prices are actually really low right now. Are, like here in Lexington, like you can find it for under $2.30 a gallon. But if you so. find it for that low, 
get it, it might be a problem. Get it yeah. before you can. Get it while you can. That's exactly it. Okay, well, now on to Jeopardy host Alex Trebek. We have okay. an update on him. As you know, he has uh, been battling cancer. Well, he is done with chemo, and he is now back to work. The 79-year-old is taping the new season of Jeopardy just five months after announcing he was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Trebek says he is on the mend and in good spirits and looking forward to the 36th season of Answers and Questions. Wow. So glad to hear that he is doing well. Absolutely, yeah. Good to, good to see him pull through and, you know, get back on the mend. That's, that's amazing for yeah. him, yeah. especially since he's been on that show for so yeah. long. All right, well, thrill seekers and daredevils rejoice. A new <laughs> roller coaster is coming to Six Flags Great Adventure, and it promises to be a record breaker. The theme park located in Jackson, New Jersey, announced that their new ride, the Jersey Devil Coaster, okay, will make its debut in 2020. At 13 stories tall and with speeds of up to 58 miles per hour, it'll be the tallest, fastest, and longest single rail roller coaster with rides soaring through the woods on more than 3,000 feet of track. Oh my goodness. <laughs> It's making me queasy just thinking about yes. it. The ride, which is inspired by the Jersey Devil legend, includes four sleek 12-passenger trains and an ascent up a 130-foot lift hill and a steep 87-degree drop. I love a good roller coaster. I don't know, though. That sounds like something I might I might be a little afraid of. I, 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 get, I get motion sickness. So, I mean, yeah. just thinking about this, literally, I'm like, ugh, yeah. jittery. It, just, might, it might be a little bit too much. Oh, I might have to take some Dramamine <laughs> and go try it out. All right, well, are you a Taco Bell fan? Oh, am I? Okay, well, guess what? You're going to be having to say adios to some of Taco Bell's favorites. Here's what's coming off the menu. The fast food chain revamping its menu and dropping some items among those to go. The Cool Ranch Doritos Locos Taco. I've never had that. Oh, have you? Man, yes. Okay, you're a fan. Course. All right. And the Double Decker Taco. Beefy Mini Quesadillas. Power Lunch Burritos and Chips and Salsa are also going. Taco Bell says it's an effort to streamline the menu. The changes will take effect September 12th. So you can still get those. You have a few more weeks to get the food. I'm going to have to. And then it's I'm gone. I'm only really a Taco Bell fan at like 2 in the morning. Like <laughs> that is my typical time to go visit. So if you ever want to meet me in public, head out to to talk about random no, one at 2 a.m. and you might be able to catch hey, it. You know what? Though? We've got Subway here today, so we, oh, we, are, we are all, Absolutely. it's all about That's the Subway. That's my daytime you don't need Taco Bell. snack is Subway, so we're going to be talking about <laughs> yes. in just a minute. All right, well, this about some beer pong. It, it's fitting for today, I think. From empty beer bottles to dozens of plastic cups, the signs of a successful party also pile up into a lot of trash. The effort to bring sustainable fun to house parties, drinkware, brand, ball, is upping the beer pong game with reusable cups. The, oh, I don't know about this. The <laughs> aluminum cups are shaped like the infamous red cups typically used for the drinking game. Since the cups are made from aluminum, they will keep drinks colder longer. Okay, that's a plus. Yeah. The drinkware goes on sale next month and will cost 25 cents each, which is pretty costly compared to a package of 50 solo cups. These can be used forever and won't break from the overly aggressive beer pong games. Okay, you know, we've got a, we've got a game set up here. We do, yeah. It doesn't have to be beer pong. You know, you can do it with the kids. You can do it with soda or juice or something. In, so in, in college, a, when, the, when the security guards would pass by our tailgate, we'd call it water pong. Yes. That's what it was. Yeah. It was always water, and we were never doing anything bad. And you never got dehydrated. I was a very good kid in college. That was good. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are glad you are with us today here on It's On. Mm -hmm, absolutely. We're going to be talking to Terry Touchdown Wilson. All right. Big season he had last year. He's going to come up with another big season for him this year. Yeah. So we're going to be talking to him and maybe throw a little catch with him. Yeah, we're going to catch up with him. And Seth is going to catch some passes from the UK quarterback. We'll see if I caught them. It is on next.